five reasons not to get into clipper blade sharpening. For years, I didn't do clipper blades. Oh no, I take that back. When I started out sharpening beauty shears, I decided I wanted to do clipper blades. I bought one of these little round homes. I kind of did it by hand. I, then those didn't work and my customers were mad. And so then I bought something a little bit bigger and tried to sharpen clipper blades. And then the customers were complaining and um, it wasn't until years later that I actually bought the right kind of equipment, as you see. This is the Nebraska Blades machine. Um, I actually started out with a 14 inch one. And um, now this one is, the one I have is 16 inch. It's number one, don't do clipper blades unless you've got the right equipment and right training. That's number one reason then. <laughs> uh, number two, if most of your business is hair salons, not groomers, not barber shops. What we find usually a hairstylist, they may not even know you can sharpen clipper blades. And if they do get them sharpened, once a year. If you're calling on only hair salons, I would say it would take you a full year to recoup your money for buying a clipper machine and getting trained to do clipper blades on average. That would be different if you're calling on groomers and, and barber shops. You see the size of this machine? Next reason, it's going to cost you more gas. You're going to have to either have a van with an inverter big enough for this, or you're going to have to bring the blades back and forth. Either way, it'll cost more gas to sharpen blades than sharpening beauty shears. It's really dirty. That's just the top of this. If I go inside here, <laughs> let me show you how dirty this is. If you don't like dirt and you have to recharge this all the time, there's dust flying. I don't know any way around it just being a dirty work. It's not just the debris and the grit and the grind from the sharpening process. It's also the blades are coming in. Sometimes there's feces on them. Sometimes there's blood. I have an ultrasonic cleaner. There's different methods of cleaning, but a lot of times you've got to clean your blades before you even think about taking them apart. They come in nasty. Another reason to stay away from clipper blade sharpening. You can do the most wonderful, best, beautiful job in sharpening these blades, but if their clipper is not working right, maybe they haven't changed their blade drive, um, they just don't have enough current going through, they've got hair in the motor, they're not oiling it, all kinds of things can be wrong with the clipper itself. And guess who gets the blame? The clipper, you the sharpener. That's one other reason. It's not just the sharpening of the blade that you've got to know how to deal with. You've got to know how to deal with these clippers and know how to educate your client on them. <laughs> if you don't like these, if you don't like bites and puppy breath and licks and dog smells and being around people that like dog smells, <laughs> this is a reason not to get into clipper blades. If, if you're doing only salons, you'll never get bit. <laughs> you won't get, and I've actually got a tick and some fleas while I was sharpening clipper blades for uh, groomers. So that's the other reason it's just cleaner not to get into clipper blade sharpening. And it's not as stinky. <laughs> Wave bye bye. Say, please subscribe. And please like, because <laughs> Benika Shears has to raise this little guard dog for our office. <laughs> and this is Cujo. You see how vicious he looks. Say hi, Cujo. Hi, Cujo. Hi, Cujo. Hi, Cujo. Hi, Cujo.